Okay, so this is the first section of the training course. Together, we're going to run through the important features of Google AdWords and analytics integration. Housekeeping might seem a little boring, but why is it important? Because it doesn't matter if you're a business owner, sales or marketing professional, implementation issues just make your life a pain. You need to be in a position to trust your analytics data. That said, uh, a caveat with analytics in general, you shouldn't be over-focused on the minute, tiny details. What you're looking for are trends and guidance to make decisions uh, for the business and sales and marketing going forwards. Therefore, discrepancies in data make these decisions both difficult and very risky. So we're going to cover off the common problems uh, that you may encounter in the next section. But first, let's start with enabling your remarketing and advertising features data so you and I are on the same page. Uh, you, now, you might already have this done, but thankfully, that those that don't, it's um, very simple to enable these uh, features. Let's jump over to analytics now. In the admin tab within the property section, click your tracking info and go to the data collection tab. We need to ensure you have uh, remarketing switched on with a little toggle button, which enables you to share audiences from analytics to AdWords. This is a, a really important feature that we'll cover in uh, more detail later on in the course. Secondly, I would highly recommend selecting the advertising reporting features. This turns on uh, demographic information as well as interest and in segment, uh, in market segments, should I say. Now, if you're unfamiliar in market segments are those people that Google deem as being in the market ready to buy and not just interested in the topic there's a whole chapter on remarketing as I say so we'll cover that later it's really important to use both of these features in doing so you need to ensure that your website's privacy policy supports that you're collecting data from these uh, people and for this purpose you can find a load of free templates on the internet that have a section on Google Analytics policies is a case of finding one that's appropriate for you in your country and your law and just copy and pasting the text out into your own website privacy policy. That really is a must. Um, you've got to stay compliant to keep Google happy and of course to, to keep your users happy too. So next we're, we're linking your AdWords account and spotting common issues so that um, these data discrepancies don't bite us in the backside down the road. To link your AdWords and analytics, you need admin or client manager permissions in AdWords, and you need at least the edit permission within analytics. There are a few different methods to do this, but the simplest way is to click on the admin tab. So if we do that now in your analytics account, then we go to the property settings and there's an AdWords linking option conveniently labeled there. So if we simply go through this process, now I've uh, deselected my AdWords account, or should I say delinked it for this example. So what happens here is if you're already linked, you will see a list of the AdWords accounts linked within your analytics, or, or as in the case on screen now, I've got a selection of accounts that I can link through, and we simply tick um, the one that's appropriate and click continue, and, and then follow through the steps. I'm not going to enable this now because it's not the right account for for this one, but uh, it's really simple. Uh, three three clicks and you're done essentially. So go through that process and you'll authenticate through AdWords. You can link multiple uh, analytics properties to one AdWords account if you uh, so see it fit, which is typically for people who've got multiple websites and use the same AdWords account. So once you've linked, you can see the data come through immediately. You also have the option of adding behavior columns back into your AdWords dashboard now, so things like page views and bounce rates and so on and so forth. But for now, let's head back to the reporting tab in Analytics. Let's scroll down to Acquisition, which is uh, essentially all your traffic sources, and then let's have a look at the AdWords data that's been pulled in. So many of the reports you're used to seeing over in AdWords are also available in Analytics. Let's start with the uh, campaign overview report. So in campaigns, we will see that we've now got AdWords metrics such as clicks, cost, cost per click, uh, combined with the bounce rate, the page, 
uh, sessions and the all important conversion data of course. Now this example is an e-commerce store but let me quickly uh, show you a non-retail integration and what it should look like. And here we have a similar sort of view but instead of e-commerce data we've got goal conversion rate, goal completions and goal value. Now the key difference is that goal value is configured by you when setting up the goal in analytics unlike e-commerce websites that feed the transaction data back into, into Google Analytics. This combination of data shows why linking and using both AdWords and analytics together is so powerful and the only real way of unlocking the full potential from your ad budget. AdWords does a great job of showing what you're spending, what's getting clicked and what converts. But combined with analytics, you can now see what happens after those clicks and conversions occur. So sadly, I see far too many businesses and, and marketing professionals optimize on clicks or just conversions alone. This method is sub-optimal. There's, there's no way, there's simply no way you're getting the best ROI from using just those uh, data points alone. It's highly probable, in fact, that you have poor performing campaigns, ad groups and keywords that would otherwise perform okay if you're feeding in the analytics data. Uh, and when I say perform, I mean in terms of your ultimate goal, so your, your key or your business KPI, key performance indicator. Now, for most of us, that means uh, the ROI figure or return on ad spend perhaps total conversion value or volume, or CPA, so cost per acquisition. Often performance issues in AdWords can actually be uh, led back to your website, and this is true of all marketing. So the landing pages on your website, the content on those pages, and the path or paths that people take through your website, a combination of the above, and supporting factors result in your website visitor not completing the desired objective and thus lowering your ROI. So bringing in the cost data and user data into analytics really enables you to unpick this puzzle. And coming up, we'll examine many different ways and methods to unpick the puzzle and increase your performance going forwards. But first, let's get your implementation really dialed in and fix some common issues 